So it's that time of year again. You know, we, I, we do these each week, and I, I think, what are we going to talk about? I'm going to encourage you to go to the Gilda New Mexico Bowl. Yes, it's what I do. It's, it, it is my full-time job. But it is my full-time job because I believe firmly in 100% that the Gilda New Mexico Bowl is great for our community. It is a, um, an event that's not just about a football game. And if you've been there, you understand that. If you've not, I'm going to encourage you to come out and enjoy the event. It is a um, quality of life event, which is much like a Broadway play or a big-time concert that comes to town. It makes this community just a little bit better, another thing to do, another positive, and it pumps millions of dollars into our, econ- our economy. So all that said, why go to this one? Well, because it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good football game. The Lobos are 8-4 and four and lead the nation in rushing. They're exciting. They're fun. They're looking to be a 9-win team for the first time since 2007. And UTSA, just because you might not know about them, doesn't mean they're not a good story. Six years they've been playing football. Lobos have been playing 118 years. UTSA, in their sixth year of playing football, is in the postseason with a fun, excited fan base and a pretty good football team and a hot young coach. They're coming to play. The Roadrunners, by the way, Roadrunners, State Bird of New Mexico, UTSA Roadrunners against the State University of New Mexico, or at least the flagship university, that's how it is. Lobos and Roadrunners, get out there, have fun next Saturday, the 17th. It kicks off bowl season. It's on ESPN. Let's put on a pretty good show. No, let's put on a great show for a national television audience. See you out there.